Let's talk about it for a second. What are synonyms? Words that have similar meaning, right? Well, this information I'm about to hand you is factual, but you are not under any obligation to take the information that I am about to provide you with and interpret it only as I say it is. It's up to you to do your own research. What is a name? Number one, a name is a verb, and it's also a noun. It's also a person and a corporation. It also has a destination of an individual, a firm or an enterprise, a partnership, a company, a citizen, a member, subject, civilian, juror, resident, residential, alien, servant, officer, representative, administrator, legislature, employee, taxpayer, agent, police officer, judge, DMV, a prosecutor, yeah, the list just keeps going. But what are titles? Titles are also a verb and can be a thing for a noun. A thing is real. Titles are names. Also, they are names construed to a customary tradition of cultural society. They jur. Yeah, they jur. The right to, uncontestable, something that you cannot take. It is by right. It is not a privilege. It cannot be interpreted as a privilege. It's irrevocable and it's inalienable. Prima facie, false on his face, in light of new evidence, or at a second look, permanent residence. It's your domicile or lawful permanent residence, which is a tenant, which would also be a title. And it's also an entity. And this tenant with the address is a citizen or a resident alien or an alien for non-transient purposes in contiguous travel between the territories. What is juris? J-U-R-I-S, right, dictation, words, jurisdiction, established by the consent of the people for the exchange of their privileges and immunities, requiring an act or a duty that is statutory, the 14th Amendment, by the way, regulations and policies and codes that, in fact, impede rights and offer all privileges of Things that you already have the right to do. One being any imaginable thing other than traveling. Because you cannot take someone's right and convert it to a privilege in exchange for a financial gain. Or in exchange for quasi-contract obligating consent by force. That's kind of like paying taxes to prevent their agents from attacking you. Ain't that something like it? <laughs> no shit. Statutory. Regulations, policies, rules, and codes that directly attempt to interfere with the indivisible and alienable rights. Statutory. Contradicts common law. And common law is the supreme law of the land. Law is not statutory. As a matter of fact... Can a statue obstruct the law? Obstruction is an act. True law cannot be blocked. Businesses, corporations, departments, agencies, all have titles and names. All are verbs. All claim to be a noun. In fact, they are a thing because they are a creation of statutory regulations that are enforced upon the citizens who are domiciled by residents in the territories that they live and reside in. Their domicile being their political subdivision attached to their voters' registration, which means the consent of the voter. And the voter cannot complain about what is done to him. The business and other types of business use the civil code of procedure or process of service. Service is served through the United States Postal Service. As a matter of fact, 
This service cannot be delivered outside of its jurisdiction. All mail that the United States Postal Service Postmaster transport is, in fact, private foreign mail. And you can find those in the title codes, one of them being Title 18, Section 916, Employees of the Service, whether or not that individual, in fact, swore an oath or an allegiance to hold the office that they hold because that individual is, in fact, a taxpayer to the IRS, which makes them the subject employee of the withholding agent that is also provided to you in the United States Title Codes in the Federal Code of Civil Procedures. You can find that information in the Title 26 United States Code. You can find that in Title 28 United States Code. 